Okay, now I want to talk country music. Country music is a big deal. Huge deal in the States, really big deal in Australia, and even here in New Zealand, even though you don't hear much about country music, it's got a massive loyal following. Turns out our next international music star could be singing country, Hayden Jones, who meets the man uh, whose life has been a little bit like a country music song. The musicians who haven't quite made it often end up here. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. And here is where your roadies are 11. Pretty good, pretty, pretty good, good, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty well. And your audience is forced to listen. But at least they're happy. This is way better than mass any day. Oh, oh, oh. Bryce Wasney hasn't made it yet, but he's trying. Playing music and stuff is about inspiring people and about giving people a good feeling. And I remember when musicians came to our school and thinking, you know, the kids that have, a, have music inside them want to, you know, have something to aim for. So my first song was like this. One finger. Bryce is 37. He's a professional singer-songwriter, but he's not getting rich. Not if he keeps playing for free anyway. He's at this new Plymouth school because his sister Debbie is a teacher here. Yeah, even us as a family, we've sort of said, oh, you know, maybe you should, you know, it's pretty tough on you, maybe you should give it a break for a while, but he's never given up. Bryce is from Nelson. He was a boat builder, but the paint poisoned his blood. The doctor actually said to me, um, if you don't stop doing this, you, you're not going to make it to 30. Well, what do you do? You're just down um, four-year apprenticeship and two years in the industry. I went into, I think you'd call it depression, you know. He retrained as a school teacher, his course closed. He retrained again as a graphic designer. Then music came into his life. Whoa, dead man walking. Hello. He bust. Then by chance he met an American record company. They signed him and pushed his music to radio stations far further than Curry Street in Plymouth. And that's where things got weird. On his laptop are screenshots showing his music charting on Dutch radio stations. Then in New Zealand he got to number six on the country downloads on iTunes. Taylor Swift has got the first four and then it was Lady Antebellum and then my name, Dead Man Walking, came up. It was a huge boost to my, to my, um, my confidence. But having the 13th most popular Dutch country song does not bring fame and fortune. Not just yet. So tonight Bryce is playing here at the Little Theatre in New Plymouth. It costs uh, $250 to hire for the night, plus he's got to pay for flights and accommodation and the band and all that sort of stuff. So uh, he really needs to sell out and I can tell you so far he's sold um, 22 tickets in pre-sales. He needs a big walk-up crowd. And when you haven't made it, you have to introduce yourself. No, who's going to kick into it? Imagine if we were to mark success by a number, because there's always going to be a number that's above that number. And if you draw a line somewhere, there's always going to be something further to do. So the success has to go, go inwards. Tonight is judged by a number, though. 100. A full house. He's broken even. One time, the devil took me out for dinner. Bryce Wasney dreams of crowds older and bigger than this, with money in their pockets for T-shirts and CDs. You know, with his health issues that he's had and to have him to get through and get onto the iTunes charts in New Zealand and a record label, it's, um, it's certainly inspiring. Bryce made a whole $5 from a weekend touring Taranaki. Oh, thank you very much. $2 was from busking. But Bryce is not deterred. He got on the telly and you've really got to love a guy who has no plan B. Yeah, no plan B. Good news for Bryce today. He's just been picked up by a major US radio station. His song is now being played on 12,000 radio stations around the world. Fantastic. America, that's where you want to crack it with country music. Yeah, love sure. it. Eng absolutely love it. England never got it, though.